Uh, our priorities are, are basically to ensure food security and uh, fight malnutrition, uh, while generally, of course, uh, reducing poverty considerably. Uh, so these are very important uh, objectives under uh, our agricultural development agenda, but with a very key component of sustainability. Uh, because over the years we've uh, developed in a, uh, the agriculture sector through quite a number of investments. Uh, and so this is the right time now to think about uh, sustaining all the efforts we've put uh, into this sector. And uh, we, we believe we are on the right track. We've been able to sustain a growth of about 5.6% uh, over the last five years for the agriculture. And uh, the future is even more ambitious because we want to achieve 8.5% growth over the next five years. And uh, this will also contribute to continue reducing poverty because uh, the aim for the country is to consider about 2 million people who are going to be left out of poverty. And uh, we believe that the agriculture sector will keep contributing uh, to, this, uh, to this kind of achievement. Uh, we invested in uh, institutions, uh, first of all, because we had to have uh, the right institutions that will deal with agriculture development. And we successfully you know, put in place a number of good institutions. And then it was also about investing in some infrastructure uh, to really back up uh, any other subsequent investments that were to be uh, put into the sector by the public sector, but also by the private sector. So we put in place irrigation infrastructure across the country. Uh, we have now reached about 30,000 hectares of irrigated land. We invested in extension services uh, where uh, people in the rural areas are able to access services uh, in terms of inputs, uh, trainings, and many other aspects of, uh, of, of, of services, uh, but also in research, uh, because research is also a very important component that allows us to, to achieve uh, the growth that we've talked about, and we will continue doing that. We are also investing and have invested in feeder roads. These are rural roads to allow uh, the surplus of production that we've been able to secure to access markets or to reach markets, and this is important. So going forward, we want to, you know, to continue investing, but now uh, looking at the sustainability, uh, meaning that the private sector will have to come, to come on board so that we can form public-private partnerships that are strong enough to sustain uh, this uh, growth that we, we have achieved so far. Uh, FAO uh, is, uh, has been already supporting and we very much appreciate the support we've been getting in many areas, particularly by bringing technical assistance in many areas. And so going forward, uh, as we continue mentioning this element of sustainability, uh, we want uh, more policy advocacy in some areas that we've identified. So as, among, as part of the discussions we, we had, uh, we, we are seeing uh, FAO putting uh, more support in managing natural resources. And uh, I was uh, mentioning irrigation. We believe that uh, our land needs to be better managed. So FAO committed and we are very pleased to to see that uh, it will be supporting us in a better management of our natural resources. We also discussed uh, research and uh, more efforts will be put uh, into that. But also, and uh, very importantly, uh, we talked about private sector involvement and value chains development in, uh, in sustaining the agriculture sector. So these are the key areas, but of course there are others uh, that uh, going forward our partnership will continue putting a, a lot of efforts in. Well, this is a leadership that really is, a, is right on the ground, that uh, provides solutions on the ground. Uh, it's really beyond uh, just uh, coming up with good policies and strategies. It's about implementing them, but also implementing them timely. So we commend very much uh, all these achievements and uh, we want to believe that uh, this kind of uh, uh, you know, groundwork, uh, you know, hands-on uh, kind of initiatives will continue uh, so that we can see more impact. Uh, the vision of FAO is quite strong, really eliminating hunger and ensuring that, uh, you know, there is no malnutrition across the globe. So this requires really people to be on the ground and uh, that's the only way we will see 
the impact because the impact is seen in people that uh, are no longer hungry, that are no longer affected by malnutrition. Uh, so we hope this vision will, um, will continue and, uh, and in fact uh, our vision as a country also fits very well within uh, the FO's vision. So I think the collaboration we've been having and that we're going to continue to have will allow uh, us as a country but also FAO as an institution that deals with countries uh, to, to make sure that we implement uh, very hands-on uh, initiatives that will, will allow us to see you know, a bright future for our people.